Hi, this is Ryan from Acid Rain Technology, and I'm excited to introduce Maestro, a six-channel clocked modulation controller. We were inspired by the idea of automation lanes, which are found in a lot of popular recording softwares, and we wanted to create a fun and jammable way to bring this concept into Eurorack, particularly to be able to quickly switch and edit modulation on the fly in a live performance setting. This video is a visual manual of the Maestro. If you haven't seen any of our Maestro Jam videos yet, I've linked them below and I recommend you check them out to really see what the module is capable of. Each channel on Maestro has an output, a gate and trigger input, an LED that shows the output state, and a corresponding channel button. Maestro's 28 LED button grid can be divided into a few main sections. You have your channel buttons, your mute button, timing divisions and multiplications, your timing modifiers, waveform buttons, waveform modifiers, the chain button, the clock menu button, and your save and load buttons. Applying waveform and timing settings to channels is very fast and flexible in Maestro. You can select a channel first and then apply a waveform select a waveform and a timing first and then apply it to a channel, or select multiple channels and apply the same timing or waveform settings. This allows you to make broad and fast changes in a live performance setting. Mute will mute the output of any channels already selected or unmute and mute a single channel selected. This allows multiple channels to be muted and unmuted in a performance with a single press of a button. If you press and hold a channel button, the timing, waveform, and modifier buttons will be illuminated for that channel's current settings. Different timing and waveform buttons can be selected while holding down a channel button to live perform changes on Maestro. This will not affect the tempo synchronization of Maestro's waveforms with its overall clock. The timing buttons range from half note, or 8 pulses on the clock LED, up to 30 second note. The slow button turns the timing buttons into divisions rather than multiplications of the clock tempo. When the slow button is illuminated, the half note button remains the same, but the quarter note button becomes 4 beats of the clock tempo. The eighth note button is 8 beats, 16, or 32. This allows for some very slow modulation that can add a lot of interest to your patches over a long period of time. Triplet makes all of the multiplications essentially two-thirds as long for a triplet feel, and with the slow button on, all of the divisions one and a half times longer. Maestro has eight waveform options and two waveform modifiers to apply to any channel. These are ramp up, ramp down, ramp up and down, ramp down and up, fixed high, fixed low, square wave with a 50% duty cycle, and random. Each of these waveforms can either be between 0 and 5 volts, or negative 5 and 5 volts with the bipolar button on. Smooth modifies the ramp up, ramp down, ramp up and down, ramp down and up, and random waveforms to be smooth continuous shapes.
Smooth does not affect the high, low, or square waveforms. The clock button will bring you into the clock menu here. By default, the clock tempo is set to 120 beats per minute. High is a manual reset button for the whole module. Low will reset the clock tempo to 120 beats per minute. Random will select a random clock tempo between 60 and 180 beats per minute. Ramp up is a simple tap tempo for Maestro, and it will set the clock tempo to the last two times you hit it. Ramp up and down and ramp down and up will increase or decrease the clock tempo by five beats per minute. You can hold them down to do it faster. If you press slow, it will increase and decrease the clock tempo by one beat per minute. Mute will stop and start Maestro's clock. The outputs will pause at their last voltage. Maestro has clock and reset outputs as well as clock and reset inputs. The clock input expects a four pulses per quarter note standard Eurorack clock. Plugging a cable into the clock input will automatically bypass the internal clock. Maestro will wait for a clock signal to begin running. Maestro will start and stop with the external clock. The clock input can follow both straight and swung clock signals, but won't function well with uneven trigger or gate patterns. When an external clock is patched into the clock input, the clock menu offers only the global reset or high button. Pressing save will bring you into the save menu, where the entire state of the module can be saved in one of 14 save slots on this micro SD card. Saving is processed separately and will not interrupt the operation of the Maestro. Pressing one of these 14 pulsing save slot buttons will save all of the current module information, including clock tempo and all of the individual channel settings to that save slot. Pressing one or multiple channel buttons in the save menu will save the channel specific information for just those channels into that given save slot. This will only overwrite information on those channels in that save slot. Pressing save again without pressing a save slot button will just abort the save process. Pressing the load button brings you into the load menu that looks a lot like the save menu. You have the same 14 save slots that you can load information from and pressing individual channel buttons will only load information for those specific channels from that given save slot. When the Maestro is powered up, save slot 1 is loaded by default. That's the ramp up button. When Maestro is powered up with your rack, all of the save slot information from the micro SD card is loaded into internal memory on Maestro. This allows Maestro to load save slot information almost instantly to not disrupt any live performance tempo synchronization. We designed the save and load functionality of Maestro to be used as a live performance tool, saving, loading, recalling individual channel information at the press of a button instantly during a live performance. In our opinion, the chain functionality is where Maestro gets really interesting. Chain allows you to enter a sequence of waveforms that will play in a row at the given timing option selected for a channel and then loop. You select the waveforms you want, select a channel you want to assign it to, and press chain. In the chain menu, you can also assign a specific timing to a specific waveform in a chain. So I could do down ramp, down ramp, one sixteenth note, down ramp, down ramp. I'll apply that chain to channel one. Assigning a timing to a waveform in a chain will force that particular waveform to play at that timing regardless of the overall timing settings of the channel.
any channel selected before or while you're inside the chain menu will have the chain that you enter applied to it. Each channel on Maestro also has an input jack located below the channel's output. This accepts a trigger or gate input. When a cable is inserted into this input, that channel will enter one-shot mode, where the rising edge of an external trigger or gate will trigger a single cycle of that channel's waveform at its given timing. At the end of that single waveform cycle, the output of the channel will hold at the final voltage of the waveform, whether that be high, low, or random, until the next rising edge comes into the input. If a chain is assigned to the channel, the rising edge of each trigger or gate coming into the channel's input will cycle through the waveforms of the chain. This can turn Maestro into a very unusual envelope generator. Because Maestro has six inputs and six outputs, there are a lot of really wild self-patching opportunities. We're listening to the output of a chain on channel one being driven by the tempo of channel four here. There are so many different ways to use Maestro in a patch. We cannot wait to get these things out into the racks of people around the world and see what everyone does with it.